Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Miss Silver here, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys the way that I would like to cook my steamed white rice with parsley and corn. So this is the rice that I'm going to be using for today's video, and I'm also going to be using a teacup, a mug to measure the rice. I also have here a strainer because we have to rinse the rice, and I have my frozen corn. I'm also going to be using some parsley flakes, and I am going to be using some minced garlic, my favorite begin i'm gonna fill up my mug with some rice that equals to one cup of rice and i'm gonna go ahead and place this rice on the strainer we do have to rinse the rice a lot of people don't like to rinse it i find it better when the rice is rinsed so that's optional depending on how you like to cook i always like to rinse and after that we can go ahead and preheat our pan Next, I'm gonna put some olive oil onto the pan. The pan is a little bit warm. And before I add the rice, I like to add a little bit of garlic for flavor. And once I just saute the garlic a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and put the rice in the pan. Next, I'm gonna take my parsley flakes. If you like to use cilantro, you like to use fresh parsley, that's fine. The flakes give it the same flavor as natural parsley, so that's completely optional. But I mean, this one has just worked best for me, plus it doesn't go bad after like four days, so this is more convenient to me. So, back to our rice. I'm going to just let the rice sit under a low fire for a minute i'm gonna be stirring it till it turns a little brownish and then we're gonna add some water always recommend everyone to pour a boiling water when cooking something hot i don't like to use room temperature water no cold water i like to use the same temperature as what's already in the pot so measuring my water with the same mug that i measured my rice so one cup of rice equals two cups of water so as you guys can see here i am using a glass mug and i'm gonna go ahead and pour that you always want to be careful because the pot is sizzling now i am going to add two cups of water but uh, towards the end i'm going to add just a little bit of extra water not too much uh, maybe about an ounce and that's gonna cook my rice completely without i mean adding that water out of camera it's gonna be perfect so there goes my water i'm gonna go ahead and let that sit and once it's cooked a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and put my corn a few minutes about maybe five to ten minutes i like to add my corn i am using frozen corn if you like to use fresh corn you like to cook it fresh or you like to use the can that is completely optional for me it's just faster to do it with a frozen corn so i'm gonna go ahead and give it a good stir now i don't like to add any salt to my rice if you like to add some sort of seasoning that's fine but to me the parsley gives it all the flavor that the rice needs the rice has been steaming for a while under a low fire and you guys look at this rice it looks delicious my mouth is watering right now and you guys the secret is on the boiling water now i did taste this rice it it completely popped it cooked the way it should be cooked it's not smushy it's not hard it's not i mean it's delicious you guys try this at home use the parsley you can throw a little bit of butter if you think it needs salt butter would be the choice now this rice is ready to eat. I ate my rice with a little bit of tilapia, breaded tilapia, and I also filmed the video for this breaded tilapia, and I'm gonna leave the link on the description box so you guys can check it out. But you guys, this rice was so creamy, so delicious. I wanna invite you guys to recreate 
this the same way that i cooked my rice at home and then come back let me know what you think drop the comments down below like this video or don't like it subscribe turn on the bell icon and i'll see you guys again on the next video here on cooking with miss silver